yesterday a new patch for the Nintendo 3DS came out and it involves basically the hack that Smeelan developed which was called Ninja Hacks. Now if you guys remember I did a whole video on this showing it in action and what it basically was which was an exploit that allowed you to run homebrew applications on your 3DS natively through a game called Cubic Ninja and the game would allow you to hack into the 3DS's code and to run homebrew applications like um, 3DS Minecraft and whatnot. But the problem is that Nintendo released a firmware update 9.3.0 <coughs> Excuse me. They released firmware update 9.3.0 and it patched up Ninja Hacks. So basically, if you do have a copy of Cubic Ninja and you're running Homebrew on it right now, do not update your 3DS if it prompts you to. So let's read more about this from Wololo.net because this is a great website to read up on for hacking prowess and whatnot. So. 3DS firmware 9.3.0 I mean, excuse me, 21 is out, and it patches some critical components of Ninja Hacks exploit. So, 3DS firmware is out today, and early reports confirm that Ninja Hacks does not work on anymore anymore on this firmware, which sucks because if you did go out and buy Cubic Ninja for eighty dollars, like a lot of people were. Well, at least at the height of the hype when Homebrew was announced for the 3DS, then you're pretty much out $80. And I don't know if they're going to be able to keep up with this with updates, but let's see what happens in the article. So, this guy confirmed that one of the several exploits required for Ninja Hacks to launch have been patched with the latest firmware. People who try to run Ninja Hacks on their freshly updated 3DS will face a crash when trying to run the exploit. The behavior, more precisely, is that you will be taken to a Facebook page and then the console might crash. So... What the fuck? Wait a minute, so... Nintendo made it so that not only does the thing not run Nintax anymore, but it takes you to Facebook. That's a little strange, but okay. Smealum, however, has confirmed that two of its exploits used for Nintax are not patched. Although to the end user, that doesn't mean much as you need the full sequence in order to run the homebrew launcher. What it means, however, is that if the new exploit was found, it would be relatively simple to adapt Ninja Hacks compared to having to find several exploits again. So it says, still, do not update to 9.3. This is from Smealum himself. Good news is that at least two of the exploits used in Ninja Hacks are still working, so yay for that. In parallel, several users have confirmed that major flash carts they got recently updated to work up to versions 9.2.0 are still working on 9.3.0.21. So I have updated my console to 9.3, tested the R4i Gold 3DS, DS2, and R4i SDHC Dual Core, the R4i Gold Pro, R4i SDHC RTS L Lite, Ace 3DS card. All these work on 9.3 directly. So this source is confirming that a lot of those um, old DS hacking cards are still working. That's pre actually pretty good news, man. Um, but still, you should not upgrade to 9.3 if you are running an exploit of some kind or running a flash card, just to be safe. I mean, it says that certain cards do work, and if your card was named in that list, then by all means update, but you probably shouldn't do it until everything has a patch for it from the creators. <laughs> Let's see here. So, sad news from Gateway 3DS team saying that you must not upgrade to 9.3 if you want to enjoy their big upcoming update for the Nintendo 3DS consoles and firmwares from 9.2 and below. Holy shit, so Gateway can't even work anymore with their, like, remember that video I did on the Gateway 3DS a few days ago where it showcased how it was running ROMs and all that? That will not work if you update to 9.3, which was released yesterday. So do not update if you are going to get yourself a Gateway 3DS. I will not be updating. Maybe I'll update, like, maybe I'll, I don't know, because I have multiple 3DSs. Maybe I'll update one, but not update the other, and we'll see what happens. But so far, no updates. So we repeat. Um, just yesterday, 9.3 was released, and after quickly analyzing it, we want to warn our users not to update their system to 9.3 or higher if they want to enjoy our upcoming support. We repeat, do not update to system 9.3 or beyond. We plan to move forward with the additional support for system range 9.0 to 9.2. For users that did not update yet in this range, do not worry. We will add support for a firmware... Wait... <laughs> Okay, we will add support for firmware range lower than 9.0, which can be installed using a game card update. So, yeah, I I highly suggest you guys do not update your card if you want this to work. Yeah, even Gateway on their official website saying 9.3, don't do it. Don't do it. It doesn't work. You do not want your money to be wasted. And they even have this on top of the initial video that we watched ourselves in regards to the Gateway 3DS. So, don't, don't update. Do not update. It's going to be a bad move. And you're going to have a sour taste in your mouth because it, your, uh, your card isn't going to work and you're going to be pissed. So um, 
right here from Gateway. They said just yesterday, system firmware 9.3 was released and after quickly analyzing it, we want to warn our users not to update. So same thing that we just read. But all right guys, so um, it kind of sucks because I was hoping Gateway would be able to keep up with the 3DS, you know, but they're not. So what do you mean to tell me that I'm going to be using 9.2 or 9.0 for the rest of my fucking life while Gateway's in commission? I don't know, man. It's a little bit of a sour deal. Although I can understand because it's hard to keep up with the 3DS since it's really well encrypted. Anyways, guys, um, what do you think about this whole thing? 9.3 is not looking good if you want to use some exploits, some hacking tools. So let me know how you feel about this whole thing. I know I'm not going to be updating my main 3DS, but um, I'll, I'll experiment with some other ones. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.